friends, welcome back. We're almost done with our study of the names of God throughout the Bible. Our next name for God is friend. Can you believe that the creator of everything wants to be our friend? It's true. Jesus calls his disciples his friends. In John 15, 14, he says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. In today's story, we will see Jesus meeting with the disciples not long after he rose from the dead. They were back in their fishing boat, but Jesus has a special message for his friend Peter. Let's take a listen. Jesus was alive again. The disciples had seen him with their own eyes. But where was he now? When would they see him again? And what were they supposed to do in the meantime? I'm going fishing, Peter said. We'll go with you, said Thomas, Nathaniel, James, John, and two other disciples. They climbed into their fishing boat and rowed out on the lake. They threw their fishing nets into the water. Ker splash! Then they waited. And waited. And waited. They waited all night. But they didn't catch any fish. Not one. Just as morning came, Peter and the others saw a man standing on the shore. But they didn't know who it was. The man called to them, Friends, do you have any fish? No, they answered, not one. Throw your net over the right side of the boat, the man said, and you will find some. I guess we could try it, the disciples said to one another. They threw the big heavy net into the water on the right side of the boat. Suddenly, the net filled with fish, lots and lots of fish. Something like this happened once before. Peter, James, and John remembered. That man on the shore is the Lord, John said. Peter was so glad to see Jesus again that he jumped into the water and swam to shore while the other disciples brought in the boat. There on the beach, Peter saw Jesus and a little fire. Bread and a fish were warming over the fire. Bring some of the fish you caught, Jesus said, and let's have breakfast. So Peter pulled the net full of fish onto the beach and brought some of the fish to Jesus. When breakfast was ready, everyone gathered around the fire, and Jesus served the bread and fish to his friends. Oh, how good it was for the disciples to be with Jesus again. And Peter heard Jesus ask, Peter, do you love me more than these? You know that I do, Lord, Peter said. Peter, do you love me? Jesus asked again. That made three times Jesus had asked Peter the same question, just as Peter had denied knowing Jesus three times in the high priest's house. Lord, you know everything, Peter said. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep, Jesus said, and follow me. Jesus had forgiven Peter and given him important work to do. Who are some of your friends? What do you like to do with your friends? What do you think makes a good friend? Jesus told his disciples, now I call you friends. Friends know each other well. They like to do things together. Friends care about each other and help each other. Friends forgive. That's the kind of friend Jesus is. He is our friend when we obey his commands, when we do what he says. He is the best friend we will ever have. Not long after this breakfast, Jesus went back to heaven to be with God. Before he left his friends, he told them, wait in Jerusalem until the helper comes. Next week, we will learn who he was talking about. See you then. Bye, friends. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, my very best friend. I love him. Amen.